Hello everyone, let me introduce you my new application Legal 3D Scanner V3 and an improved version of my previous Legal 3D Scanner. For this software you need one camera and projector to scan an object. You only need to do four steps. First of all you need to connect the camera and projector, scan a reference plane and then scan an object. So let me walk you through the whole process. First of all we need to connect the camera. Select your device and uh, compatible resolution of the camera. So you can see uh, you can see the camera screen here. You can do maximize and you can do a basic image processing kind of features on this camera screen. The second step is to connect the projector. So select, select your projector screen and with the height of the projection projection pattern and then the steps how many patterns you want to project for 3d scanning and select the pitch of the fringe pattern let me display a focus to adjust the focus of your camera and projector and if you see the camera and projector are focused then you can proceed your 3d scan so the pattern should move from right to left and you see here the camera is upside down so let me flip it so now it's okay now you can press display pattern to project pattern in other words star 3d scanning so the first step was to put the camera and projector now you need to scan a reference plane you need to press this 3d scan button and you see reference plane is scanned you can see the patterns here the pattern should move from right to left for 3d scanning so the reference plane is scanned you can press it again now proceed to object scan so if this scan checkbox is checked so that means you are scanning a reference plane and if you want to scan the object you need to uncheck it now we are going to proceed the scanning of 3d object so if you put a 3d object in front of projector and camera so that means you are now scanning a 3d object so by pressing this 3d scan button again Object. you can see here because we don't have any object so we can only see a flat plane you can see the flat lines for angles you can scan as many times as you want because we have already scanned the reference plane so that means the reference plane would only be scanned for one time and then you put any object in front of projector and camera multiple objects and then you can scan just by pressing this scan button so the reference planes will automatically be saved in this folder documents real 3 db scan images if you change your setup and but you want to do the same reference plane you just recompute this reference plane so if i recompute it see here the faces are computed so now you can again scan uh, start scanning 3d object yes in order to achieve accurate measurements you need four parameters camera distance reference distance and area covered by camera length so let me uh, show you a basic setup of a 3d scanner here you can see a projector and camera and this re is reference plane and object so l is a distance from projector to reference plane and d is distance from 
camera to projector so camera distance is a is a d value is a d distance from the projector and reference distance is a l value projector to reference plane and with that i you can measure manually so if you put these four parameters you will have the accurate and uh, actual measurements of your 3d object so once you have your 3d objects you can do or perform post processing over your 3d scans you can remesh your object you just need to select one and then you can remesh your object you can smooth it you can align multiple objects you can merge multiple objects and you can also repair for example you have holes you can repair you can fill these holes uh, this alignment gives you final registration kind of alignment and this alignment gives you a global alignment you can also select your desired region of interest over this camera lens for example this region and then you can also scan this so after selecting this region i just need to recompute the reference plane and then start proceeding and um, now i only have this region of interest you can see here So this software actually gives you a basic features uh, for post processing but if you want a detailed and more tools for manipulation or for for uh, post processing you can use legal 3d renderer to to perform the post processing so you just need to press this button and the selected machine will automatically be imported in real 3D renderer. So you need to install separately real 3D renderer in your computer. So that's also available on my website. So the meshes are imported here. Now you have a lot of features here. You can perform uh, multiple filters over it. You can perform registration, merging, all those kind of things. And you can also do some cleaning all these magic for example you don't want this area you don't want this area just select it and delete the selected area so this kind of thing that you can do in real uh, 3d render you can also it's also it's a perfect for visualization as well and for creating videos of 3d uh, meshes Some camera devices gives you automatic exposure settings and automatic gain settings. So you need to make sure that the automatic exposure and gain are not affecting your camera capturing. If you have, now I have USB 3 camera from HIK Vision and this software also actually gives you compatibility to use that camera. You can select manual exposure time and manual gain. So you don't need gain, you don't need sharpness, and you don't need automatic exposure. If you select automatic exposure, so that means the camera driver will set exposure time based on the lighting condition. You need to disable it because otherwise you will feel flickering and some distortion in your images. So if you want to apply these settings, uh, you can go to the camera software. That's like a MVS gives you this software. You can connect it and you can you can adjust your camera devices the camera sorry camera setting the camera setting will be there you don't need to worry about uh, after setting it and uh, using the in 3d scanner and some other camera for example our uh, this software gives you uh, compatibility of other cameras using direct show so most of the camera is compatible with the direct show and if you connect this camera, the camera will be connected by using Microsoft Direct Show uh, drivers. 
so basically most of the cameras are compatible and uh, will have no problem in using this software and if you if you connect that camera and you can go into the camera driver properties and select the properties of a, a camera and if you select the properties using this software and collect, click apply okay and now connect camera and now you can apply these settings so this check should be checked before connected to the camera you see if I select automatic exposure automatic gain you see there is a flickering and the camera driver is automatically adjusted gain and exposure based on the lighting and based on the lens uh, setting so you need to disable it before because uh, you don't want this kind of flickering any camera this is not just uh, HIK or you need to make sure that your camera devices are not on auto exposure and auto gain and sharpness I think must be zero here are the 3d scanning set settings in the folder where all images must be saved save all save all images and some basic uh, parameters that are used in 3d scan you can enable gizmo to readjust your 3d model and then you can perform global registration like this yeah that's it uh, if you have any question let me know you can visit my website or uh, you can also go for uh, tutorials of the software Thank you very much.